jacket? Of course I'm going to wear it. Maybe too hot. Oh, no, it can be quite cool up in the mountains. David, you'll be roasted. And suppose it rains. What if it does? Well, you're not supposed to get it wet. Wait a minute. I can't wear it if it's hot. I can't wear it when it rains. What am I supposed to do? Go to bed in it? Now, this happens to be the best thing in my wardrobe, genuine cowhide. And you don't hear them complain. The cow is a very contented animal. Oh, no, it's not a contented animal, David. Far from it. You've heard that expression, poor cow. Well, you try wearing that in the hot sun and you'll know exactly what it means. What have you got against this jacket? Nothing. I know what it is. You wanted me to spend the money on a new carpet, didn't you? Well, the carpet is threadbare, David. Yes, well, if you'd looked at me from time to time, you'd have noticed that I was getting a little bit threadbare as well. That's why I was made redundant. No, it wasn't. Oh, yes. Now, I noticed one thing about all the blokes who were made redundant. We all had one thing in common. Do you know what it was? Shiny trousers. <laughs> They didn't make those young men in their trendy suits redundant, did they? It was the recession, David. They didn't want to get rid of you. The chairman said so. He gave you that lovely watch. This watch was given to me for 25 years' service. It was given to me the same day that he gave me the bullet. That's why I went out and bought his jacket. You see, you don't understand it. It gives me confidence. Well, I've got nothing against the jacket, David. It's just that it's not right for Spain. You always look so hot in it. Well, of course I'm hot in it. I'm bloody boiling. <laughs> but I'll wear it if it kills me. Have you told Linda and Robert that you were made redundant? Well, of course I didn't. How you do think I introduced myself? I'm David Pierce, redundant draftsman. <laughs> no, as a matter of fact, they, uh, they think I'm a company director. A what? Company director doesn't mean anything. Anybody can be a company director. But you're not. All you need is a couple of hundred pounds to form a company and you make yourself a company director. But you haven't formed a company and you're not a company director, so why did they think you were? Well, I happened to give Robert a bit of advice about his uh, investments. What? Yes, and I've invited them both out to dinner tonight. Oh, David, I've just cashed the last of the traveller's checks and you invite them out for dinner. I was hoping to get a present for Mother today. Well, I didn't know, did I? I thought we got enough. You look after the money. Yes, and it's a good job I do. It slips through your fingers far too easily. Is that why you hide it? No. Oh, yes, it is. You keep moving it all around the room. It was in my clean underwear this morning. <laughs> and you're saying with your jewellery. This morning, your earrings were also in my shaving cream. You're like a demented dormouse. <laughs> Don't you trust me? Do you think I'll pawn them? No, of course not. But Robert says there's been some pilfering. Yes, and you think it's me. No. <laughs> David, do you want to know where I keep the money? I don't want to know. All I ask is that you do leave a map behind, just in case you fall off a mountainside this afternoon. <laughs> David, if you want to look after the money... I don't want to discuss it. Now, will you kindly remove your earrings from my shaving cream, please? Yes, I think I'd better wear my jewellery today. David, if you want to know where the money is... I don't want to know. It's too late. Morning, Linda. David, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I do like you in that jacket. Thank you, Linda. Are you ready? Yes, Amy's just getting her earrings out of my shaving cream. She's a cautious little thing. Robert's just the same. Keeps his traveller's checks in his socks. Really? How strange. Oh, that sort of thing never worries me. I mean, I suppose if you're used to living out of a suitcase, you never think about it. Are you looking forward to the trip? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I think you'll enjoy it. The Sierra Blanca can be very attractive at this time of year. Oh, yes, but I'm not looking forward to riding one of those donkeys. Now, Linda, please, not donkey, burro. Oh, sorry, David, I forgot I was talking to a traveller. <laughs> well, it's very important. You see, they only understand Spanish. Now, to get them going, you've got to press your knees into their sides and shout, Arri, burro! <laughs> oh, and you must remember to roll your R's. Now, that's essential. Arry Burrow, well, I'll remember that, but I shall be nervous. Oh, there's no need to worry. They're sure-footed beasts, and uh, I'll be close by. Oh, I do hope so, David. Oh, morning, Robert. <laughs> Looking forward to the trip? Not really. <laughs> See Zimmerman's going. Zimmerman? Yes, big German. <laughs> Why does he want to go up into the mountains? Oh, Robert, he's got a perfect right to go up into the mountains. I think he's got a meeting arranged with Martin Borman. <laughs> Not the war again. It was 40 years ago. They haven't changed. They've still got territorial ambitions. Zimmerman took my deck chair yesterday. <laughs> and when I complained, what happened? Mouthful of the Nuremberg rally. Ah, must confess, when I saw his name on the list, I felt a distinct twinge of apprehension. Well, I shouldn't worry about it, Robert. Mm, probably right. Doubt if they find a donkey big enough for him. Ah, not donkey. Burrow, David told me. Oh. Did you? going to be damned odd in that jacket, David. Hello. Hope I haven't 
kept you waiting. Oh, no, David's been instructing me. Has he, really? Yes, if I want my donkey to move, I have to shout, Arry Burrow, and I must practice rolling my R's. I wouldn't worry. You've always been rather good at that, Linda. <laughs> well, uh, shall we get off? Shall we, uh, Arry Burrow? <laughs> oh, Amy, don't forget your hat, love. It's lovely. Oh, shall I take the bag? Nein, 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 ja, hier. Herr Zimmermann, Hotel San Remo. Ja, gut. Komm, wir gehen, ja. Oh. Hello, Davy. Oh, Linda. I thought you'd get here first. That cry of yours certainly worked. Your donkey went like the wind. Yes. Pity you weren't on it. <laughs> Did you have to run with it far? Oh, no, only for the first half mile, and then I, uh, I took control. You see, I should have known. They usually give the unruly ones to the more experienced riders. Uh, did you see the others? Fleetingly. Robert's shoe came off, and Amy's hat blew off. Did it really? Oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, she made it all for fast. Yes, yeah, she would. I think she's really quite attached to it. Well, should we, uh, should we browse while we wait? Oh, David, don't leave my side. Some of these gypsies look quite villainous. Well, you stick with me, Linda, just as long as we know what we're looking for. Now, I mean, now, now look at this, you see? Look. Now, the leather's all right, but uh, just look at the workmanship. I mean, uh, the stitching's coming apart. Oh, David, there's things in it. I think it's someone's bag. Oh, that's not true. That's not true. Tell me, sorry, misunderstand me. But that's not true. I have never seen so much. Oh, look, David, look at this shawl. Isn't it exquisite? No, don't say that. Don't say it's exquisite. We've got to haggle. Oh, I don't like to haggle. Oh, it's tradition. They enjoy it. I've been known to haggle with them for hours. You can see the respect in their eyes. Pretend you don't like it. Why would I buy it if I don't like it? <laughs> because it's cheap. Oh, I don't think it's cheap, David. Well, it will be. Watch this. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. How much? Six thousand pesetas. Uh, Six thousand for this? There is no show like this. The only one in Andalusia. Oh, I'm not surprised. Look at the workmanship. Very inferior lace. Oh, no, David, oh, I don't... Oh, well, all right, my dear, if you don't mind wearing inferior lace. Three thousand pesetas. Three thousand pesetas? Not a penny more. Three thousand pesetas? You take the bread off my mouth, signore. Madre oh, mia. Yeah, he looks but very upset, David. No, don't you believe it, Linda. He's enjoying every minute of it. Not a vendido a quest manton. A tutto via. Signora, dito tres mil pesetas por esto. Tres mil? No, 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 no. I didn't say that exactly. Would, oh, would, would, you, would you please tell her not to cry? She weeps, signore, because her eyes, they cannot see so well. And her hands are swollen. She made a lace, signore. Perhaps she will not make another. Oh, well, in fact, I really think it's really quite pretty. Oh, yes, I like it. She made the best lace in all of Espana. Okay, but no, she is too old. Oh, no, 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 she isn't. No, Three you're not. pesetas. Hey, I think he's going to make a redundant, Linda. <laughs> and she won't get a gold watch, you know. You know what they do here? Just leave them by the roadside. Oh, do something, David. Well, 3,000 was my starting figure, but now that I look at it again, I can see, well, that it is worth all of, uh, 4,000? Five. Six thousand. Done. Oh, I think we got a bargain. Oh, yes, it's lovely. Oh, look. Oh, it's my simpatico che bello rubia. What'd she say? She said you are very beautiful. Oh, hey, con questo man, con tieni felicità di dinero. She said you wear that shawl and you always be lucky. Hey, tu amore, hey, tu amore. Your lover, un lettorio. Hey, my bonus hijos. And you have many, many children. Oh. No, don't take it off, Linda. You look breathtaking. Six thousand pesetas, senor. What? Six thousand pesetas. Oh, oh, no, 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 you don't now, understand. Now, Linda, allow me. Oh, but David, no, it's so expensive. Expensive? It's only money, Linda. But Robert would be terribly jealous. He hates anyone to buy me presents. Oh, well, all right, if you feel like that about it. <laughs> You'll have to keep it for me till later. Later? Oh, thank you, you sweet, generous fool. Now, I'd better go and see where Robert's got to. Oh, Six thousand. Grazie, 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 grazie. David! I want a word with you, oh, David. Yes, Emmy. I've got something awful to tell you. Oh, well, I... before you do, love, could you just uh, let me have a little bit of money? 
Money? Yes, I just thought we'd buy a few souvenirs. I only need a few percent. But that's what I wanted to talk about, David. Is something the matter? It's my hat. Your hat? Yes. But well, something happened to it. Did the donkey eat it? <laughs> no. It blew away down the mountainside and I couldn't retrieve well, it. Well, I'm not surprised. We're halfway to Madrid by now. It had the money in it. <laughs> it had what, love? The money, David. I've lost the money. I wouldn't let you keep it and now I've lost it. Oh, I feel terrible. Go on, you can say anything you like to me. I deserve it. Amy, no, I'm not going to blame you. I mean, it could have happened to anybody. Well, anybody who keeps uh, money in a hat, that is. David, aren't you angry? Angry? Of course I'm not angry. We're not going to fall out over money, are we? I mean, the more important things to life than that. No, as a matter of fact, I have managed to save a few percenters. We won't be able to afford any presents, love, but we'll get by. So, so don't you worry, love. But David, I, I thought you'd be so angry. No. I didn't know you could be so understanding. Sometimes... You can show such a gentle side to your nature, it makes me want to... Well, it makes me want to... Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Senor. Oh, not you again. Would Senor like to buy a shawl for the other Senora? No, I wouldn't. It is a beautiful shawl. Not another one like it in all of Hispania. Wait a minute. It's the same as this one. Except for that one. Yeah, and I suppose that was made by your poor aged mother with a gnarled old hands and a fading eyesight. Well, look, I'm not interested. I'm spent up. Hey. Wait a minute. Come in. What about a watch? A what, senor? Si. <laughs> I mean, how would you like to buy this one? Well, senor... I didn't get that on the plane, you know. Genuine solar quartz, alarm, chronometer, flashing lights, program selector, constant liquid detail. It shows you the day, hour, minute, second. Now, you know, you, with that, you could be king of the gypsies. But I cannot see it. Well, of course you can. You have to look at it under the table. <laughs> Too bright in here. Now, you press that little button there, look. Day and date calendar. Press that one. All points of the compass. North, south, east, west. You need never get lost. <laughs> little pinger. Bing! Wake up in the morning. You'll be on the road before dawn. Now, now, I don't know how I'm going to manage without this, but I'm going to let you have this watch for 10,000 pesetas. Uh, no, senor. 7,000 pesetas. 7,000? You take the bread from my mouth, madre mia! <laughs> now, listen, you. This watch was given to me by my employer. I labored for him for 25 years. One day he come to me and say, I cannot pay you, you will have to go. But you have been like a son to me. I give you this watch. This is very good watch. It will remind you of all the happy hours we spend together. <laughs> and you offer me a miserable 7,000. Uh, forgive me, senor. For this I give you 8,000 pesetas. 10,000. Nine. Done. <laughs> grazie, grazie. Oh, hello, Eddie. Ah, senora. Would you like to buy a shawl? No, she wouldn't. No, too much money. Not too much. For you, 5,000 pesetas. Wait a minute. I've just spent... I... What, David? Oh, nothing, love. This shawl would bring you luck, senora. I can certainly need that. Ah, oh, what do I see? I see you've always had to work very hard. You have never known any happiness. It's very good, isn't it? <laughs> Your man has not been kind to you. He looks at another. When you complain, he beats you. You what? It's amazing what they can see in your palm, Dave. Now, listen, for the last time, the senora does not need a shawl. A watch? No! Now, would you kindly leave us, please? David, that was your watch. Oh. Uh... Why was that man wearing your watch, da David, you popped it. Well, it was only a watch. I wanted to forget that place anyway. I didn't need to be reminded about it. I ought to have got rid of it a long time ago. Oh, but, Dave... And, and we had to buy the presents. Presents? What? Oh, David, you've bought me a shawl and you had to sell your watch to do it. Well, love. Oh, David, I don't know what to say. I feel so ashamed. You're married to somebody for years, you think you know everything about them, and then they do something that totally surprises you. David, you've shown me a side of your nature I didn't even know existed. Oh, it was nothing, love. Nothing? You've been wonderful today, David, really wonderful. You've been understanding and kind. I'm married to a saint, David. <laughs> Do I look nice? Oh, yes, love, very nice. Oh, I can't wait to find Linda and show her. Yes. <laughs> no!
Ja, es ist schön. Ja, danke, danke schön. Ja. I beg your pardon? English? Uh, yes. Uh, you buy some jewellery, very cheap. Uh, no, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Keep walking, George. Yeah. These gypsies can be very persistent. Your hand, Signora. What? Uh, oh, no, please let go. Oh, you have a very good hand, Signora. Oh, do I? <laughs> oh, see, si. very sensitive hand. It is a hand made to caress and to love and to know great passion. What rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> I beg your pardon. No, I mean, I mean it's, uh, it's just sales talk, Emily. Oh, is it? Mm. Well, I don't agree. She's certainly seen deep into my character. You wear this ring, senor. It is very lucky. What? It is the moonstone. Oh. It is the stone that Solomon gives to Sheba that brings forth great love. <gasps> See how it clouds over. These are the storms of great passion. I don't think we want any storms of great passion, Emily. <laughs> How much? Uh, 15,000 pesetas? That's very reasonable. I'll take it. But, Emily... George! Yeah. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Gracias. A buenos dias, senor e senora, and may you bear many strong sons. What? Do you think there's any truth in it, George? I shouldn't think so. I've just paid out 15,000 pesetas. It doesn't appear as if I'm going to be very lucky. You wait until tonight. <laughs> ah, Signora. I'd like to buy that watch back, please. The watch? Uh, yes, the one that my Senor sold to you. Ah, this watch. Uh, yes, uh, see. Si. It is a very good watch. Solar quartz, program selector, flashing lights. It is the best watch I never had. Yes, I know all about that. How much? For you, Signora, 15,000 pesetas. I'm robbing myself. Oh, I'll take it. <laughs> You buy the watch back for the signore? Oh, yes. I'm going to surprise him. He's a wonderful man. I see. He's so sweet and kind and understanding. A man like that shouldn't have to sell his watch. That is true. Oh, I can't wait to see his face. He'll be so pleased. I see. Then perhaps he'll buy you a shawl, like he did for the other signora. Oh, because I've got a shawl. No, no, no. That is for the other signora. What? Amy. There you are. Here's your hat. My hat? Yeah. Oh. I saw it blow off, so I retrieved it for you. Only trouble was, I couldn't get back on the damn donkey. <laughs> Wouldn't stay still, you see, no handbrakes. <laughs> Very awkward beasts, donkeys. You never know what they're going to do next. Well, I think Zimmerman had the right idea. He carried his most of the way. <laughs> Something wrong, Amy? Wrong? Oh, no, no, nothing wrong, Robert. Excuse me. Ah, signore. Would you like to buy a shawl? The only one in all of España. Oh, do you think it'll suit me, old boy? <laughs> oh, hello, Amy. Have you seen Robert? Uh, yes, uh, he's over there somewhere. Oh, I thought perhaps he'd been stolen by the gypsies. Uh, <laughs> um, you've forgotten your shawl, Linda. My shawl? Well, isn't that your shawl? Um, oh, well, yeah, yes, yes, that's mine. Um, <laughs> do you like it? Oh, yes, it suits you. But then I've always thought there was something of the gypsy about you, Linda. <laughs> Pardon? Yes, I can just see you dancing around the campfire to the beat of the tambourine. Can you really? Did, um, Robert buy it for you? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, hello, Linda. Oh, hello, Robert. What's the matter? You look quite excited. Yes, yeah, I got a surprise. What's that behind your hand? It's a shawl. For you. Wonderful bargain. It's the only one in all Spain. <laughs> oh, well, if that's your shawl, Linda, this must be mine. What? Oh, Robert, do you think we could have a drink? I, I feel a little faint after the journey. Oh, yes, oh. Amy, have you seen uh, Robert and Linda? Yes, they're in there having a drink. Oh. Now, come and sit down. You look quite pink. Oh. I told you that jacket would be too hot. Give it to me. Now, what's this? What's what, love? In the pocket. My <laughs> word, it's another shawl. Oh, yes. But you've already got one shawl, David. Well, I, um, I got one for your mother, love. My mother! 
<laughs> what can I say, David? I thought you didn't like her, and there you go, buying an expensive shawl. What a wonderful gesture. You must have got a lot of money for your watch. Oh, yes, yes, I did. How much? Oh, about, uh, oh, 20,000 pesetas. Oh, I got a bargain then. I got it back for 15. Oh, my watch. <laughs> but, Amy, you didn't have any money. No, I sold some of my jewellery. Oh, Amy. My moonstone ring. Not your moonstone ring. Well, it was the least I could do, David. After all, I lost the money. I did lose the money, didn't I, David? <laughs> <laughs> yes, so, so you know. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, love. I mean, I only did it to teach you a lesson. I was going to tell you, but I just wanted to show you that money was my responsibility. Oh, it doesn't matter, David. I understand. You do? Yes, you are the man of the house. You should have more responsibility. I'm too bossy by half. <laughs> You really mean that? Yes, of course. Oh, but Amy, your moonstone ring. Don't worry about it, David. At least we got your watch back. You know, sometimes... Well, I surprise you. Well, you're so understanding. You two going to come in and have a drink? We're surrounded by the Bosch in here. We need some support. Hear what they're singing? Lily Marlena. We've had ten verses so far. Well, I wouldn't mind. It's the song we took from the Africa course. It's a damn cheat. So come on, we'll sing loud and later. Hey, come in, Amy. Uh, just a minute, David. Um, why don't you wear this jacket? You look so nice. Oh, do I look? Thank you. Baby, come on, show the flag. Well, look, I mean, you know. <laughs> Oh dear, and I told him not to get that jacket wet. 